Hey guys and welcome back to another HZ Studios tutorial. Today in Adobe Photoshop we are going to go over how to morph and edit faces such as this man right here, LeBron James. If you don't know the NBA Finals is coming around so why not choose the most polarizing figure to morph his face a little bit. So of course you want to get a pretty high definition picture if you want to morph faces it's best to work with them as they morph the best. So, what you're going to do with, of course, with your base layer selected, I can go ahead and get rid of this background layer. With this layer selected, go to your filter, and you're going to go down, not into these selections, but right here with this liquify. Or, on your keyboard, you can hit Shift, Control, and X, and this will bring up the liquify pane. As you can see, liquify, and it's our image. So first of all, over on the left here, you want to do the forward warp tool, or you can simply hit, like if I went to this one, I'd simply hit W, and it will bring me back to the forward warp tool. These tools, this is the reconstruct tool to basically undo any morphs that you want to do. But then from here, you, these are just uh, more in-depth and detailed ways to morph, but we're just going to go over the basic liquify in this video. So depending on the size of your image, the image will show up differently in this liquify pane with your forward warp tool selected. You can go over to your brush tool options. Now this is where the actual photo you're using is going to impact your liquifying. Since I had this bigger picture, you want to adjust your brush size proportionately. So if I went with this really small size 15 brush and I tried to morph it really would not make that much of a difference. It would look strange, but it's not really what we're going for. So you can hit Control Z. So you want to adjust your brush to the correct size depending on the size of your image. So for this image, I believe the suggested size I did was around one. Let's go ahead and type in 150 for 150. That was right. And then from here, it's really up to you. You want to get your density and pressure at 100. Just if we lower our density, we can see what happens. The density really does not change much at all, actually. But if your pressure comes along, it's going to make it actually do less morphing on its own. So you want to put all that stuff at 100. So let me just go ahead and reopen the liquify pane. So pressure at 100, size depending on what your image size is to whatever you need. The eyes and man nose and mouth and face shape, you can all adjust these if you want. I've messed with them some and they really have very slight impacts. Like as you can see, the eyes are getting slightly bigger and smaller, but it's really not gonna make that much of a difference. So from here, let your imagination run wild. What you want to do with this picture is completely up to you. So I think for LeBron, we're gonna drag both eyes out like this drag that eye out over here and that eye out over here there we go we can go ahead and bring the shoulders way down such like this and this and we're going to bring the mouth and lips way down here so I think that looks perfect and of course you can adjust this to whatever you would want whatever makes you laugh or whatever suits the uh, purpose for your liquefying or your uh, morphing of faces so we hit OK and it will make the adjusts, adjustments to the face on our image. So that is all for morphing faces. If you guys want a more detailed look at morphing faces in Photoshop, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to leave it in the comment section what tutorials you guys would like to do next, and we'll see you next time.